Good morning. We are here on a Serena 68 about to install a Starlink. What is a Starlink? Starlink is a mobile internet device that travels with you. So if you're on a boat or if you're in an RV, then you're going to have the internet wherever you travel to. Ooh. Okay, so one of the first things we've got to do is figure out where we're going to mount this. Starlink's going to go up there, which means we've got to find wires. This is our lead tech, Eddie. He's finding our trace wires to come down and where they're going to go into the boat. So once we get down inside the boat, we follow that feed all the way down and that's where we start. Okay, so here we have the Starlink mobile, which is a better broadcasting uh, used on boats and more rural areas. And this one is just different. It uh, mounts side up, just like this, at a little angle, little angle, and it mounts up like this. And it doesn't move or pivot like the other ones, um, which are ch cheaper. But this one's the most expensive, the more expensive one. Um, and it just sits flat on a a base that it comes with. And this is the base it comes with. And depending of your mounting, some somewhere already up in the uh, top, you'll be able to just mount it up, you know, screw it in here and then mount this. But if you don't have a space up there to mount, you're gonna have to create a different mount that this would uh, uh, bolt onto, which I'll show you guys once uh, we get figured out what's the dimensions on that. Uh, and this is uh, your modem here, but you know you will be connecting. It, it, this one requires uh, power. The uh, the lesser broadband one doesn't. It just requires this uh, power converter here, and this one also requires power. So both of them will require the power. So depending on where you put it, make sure you have a uh, 110 or. 20 volts and uh, this cable here will go to your uh, your antenna and uh, that's pretty simple that's what it all all those pieces do just running them and location of them is what is you got to do first so you won't be doing holes or doing things you shouldn't and uh, have a have a plan Okay, so when, when you're running your cable from the flybridge or anywhere you're essentially going to put your, you mount this at, you want to start where this cable, which plugs into here, you want to run this down because uh, obviously the size difference, you know, of the holes you would have to cut and you'd be going up instead of down. So if you run down. Okay, so my first hot tip is make sure you have enough cable to run from the mounting point all the way down to your um, connection point down in the main salon. There's Eddie working on finding a, uh, a place to fish the wire from. I'm just going to show you the view that we've got from uh, the top of the Serena. This is Lido Village in Newport Beach. What a gorgeous day. So before we drill any holes, we have dry mounted the Starlink here. And Eddie is using a fish to go through a pre-existing hole. And he's going to send the wire down to me, which I'm going to receive through the mast and then send it down into the main salon. So that's Eddie with the fish. He's coming through the top of the mast. And I'm going to receive that. right there so there you can see the end of the uh, fishing wire that's gone through and it's coming all the way down so now we can connect to that and uh, send the cable through so if, here's the cable and we're just pulling that through i got the uh, call to stop so this is going to be our dry run 
and we're going to send it down through here. So you can see we've just put the fish through, taped it up, so the cable's going to th flow through. Okay, Paul, Eddie. And this is the result you want to see. You want to see that wire coming through. It's not easy sometimes because the distance between some of these deck heads can be a bit tricky. But we have what we want. Here's a top tip for you. If you are using a suction cup to take off the uh, deck heads, just make sure this part here is clean. You can take any cleaning product, um, clean it off, and then wipe it dry. That way when you attach and clip into place, and pull on the deck head, it'll come down and you won't leave any ring marks. Okay, this is the exciting part. Let's see what's going on. Making a connection. Okay, so when you do a dry, uh, dry run, since we don't have the long cable that we want, because essentially we wanted to put it right there, uh, but I don't think we have enough cable. We don't have, actually, there's no thinking. There ain't en enough cable for it. Um, so we have to do a dry fit for now just to make sure that the mounting up there would be our solid spot and, and the best uh, location for it. And it is. Um, so make sure that when you plug in these, these things, you have a light here and then a light down here. Because if you don't have one, then these connections um, are not on. You know, you need both of these on because, uh, you know, I was plugging it in, in here and it wasn't working. So uh, just make sure that you have both lights on. That means you have a service. Um, and then you go to your Starlink app. Um, and then you'll get a uh, connect to a network. Um, I'm already logged in, but you go into connect your network and it, it will take you to the uh, Bluetooth, I mean, area, Wi-Fi area. And then you will see Starlink. So you won't see 7C's Wi-Fi because we I added that already. But you'll see Starlink. So you'll see it kind of up here um, away from these networks. You'll see it up here. You click on that. And then it'll take you to a page where you set up your username, um, whatever you want, and your password. So you what you do is you essentially go take your service off your phone. And then you go to an app or something and see if... Uh, See if it works. So then you'll know you know you're having a, a connectivity because you're not using the cell phone service no more. Another important test to run is uh, with the radar spooled up. So you can see that on the screen here. We're gonna make sure that there's no um, interference with the internet connection with the where the Starlink's mounted. Um, we don't want any interference from the radar spooling. Uh, with our internet connection, so I'll check with Eddie. Our service off on our phones, we have Bluetooth and Wi Fi, and we're having a game going on here. So. Go Buffalo! <laughs> so Eddie's just dr drilled a hole through the mast. Using that ball gun, we got a little drop cloth and vacuum to clean up. Uh, so that's where we're going to run the wire out. The Starlink is mounted. Okay, so we are ready to thread the cable. We've got a cable seal. So Eddie's going to put through the chrome piece and then the plastic piece. And then he's drilled a hole and he's putting the grommet in. He's drilled a hole through the bushing and then cut a slice down it so that it goes over the cable. And then he'll feed that into the hole that we created. So here you see we've got, um, using the fish, we brought the string all the way up from the place we're gonna mount. And Eddie is just using electrical tape to tape the string and the end of the cable.
cable together. So as we pull that through, we'll pull the cable. So here we are with the um, end of the cable and the string fish. We've just come through the um, mast and we're now gonna go into the main salon. So we've just come through the mast, through the top of the deck head. Here we're now into the galley and we have the end. Since we weren't able to screw down here on the bottom of this, so there won't be no wire. Visually, that's the way I like to do it. Um, we have to run the cables to the top. That's why we had to uh, do the hole on the side of the mast. Uh, but usually there's areas where you could just drill down. You won't see no holes but on this, this area. There was, it was boxed in and there was no way to, to drill and see behind it. You don't want to drill on a boat and not be able to see behind it because you could drill into something and you're screwed. We'll run the cable nice on the top of the uh, roof here. And uh, I like to put these stickies instead of screwing down with the, some uh, adhesive here, like 4200 or 5200, something like that. And just, you know, put a couple where it's gonna look good. And uh, it'll, it'll hold the cable through. Here's a top tip from my man, Eddie. He's using this piece of equipment here. So once he's drilled the holes, he's gonna just um, bevel the top of the holes and that avoids any stress cracking on the gel coat or fiberglass. So we are all punched up here, everything sealed and these are the stickies that Eddie was talking about so he's just zip tying those to the deck make everything nice. So here we have the Starlink mounted and the wire going into the mast over there to the uh, left hand side of the screen ideally we would want that wire hidden but because the um, the top of the mast is all blocked out we couldn't do that um, another option would have been to mount it off the uh, rear between the domes um, but the client didn't want that so we're about wrapped up I'm just going to show you where we mounted everything inside of here and uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, uh, ask questions. If you need um, any information relating to boats and yachts, just ask. If I don't know, I'll find out for you. So as I explained earlier, we came through those deck heads. We put everything back and we routed the wire. You can see in the center of the screen there. Um, we custom cut this piece of marine ply behind the mainframe you can see and screwed that in so that we had somewhere to mount that. Then we have the modem in here and have spliced that into the back of uh, an inverted socket here. So there's no visible wire showing, but if we need to reset that modem, then we can just um, shut down one of the breakers. Everything's clean and put away. Okay, Eddie, we're just wrapping up with the Starlink installation. Any top tips? So one of the top tips I'll say is mount, mounting spots for the router and the modem and all the power stuff, the antenna up on top, and your your wire length, your cable length. So if the cable that comes with the actual Starlink is not long enough, when you do your run, you'll use your pull cord and tape up, you know, where what's the length. So when you, um, you pull that out and you when you're pulling that out you pull another one of these so you can have that same run then you'll know the length when you measure the length um those are the things that i'll, I'll say it's very important because then you're fighting and you're you're doing double work um but once you know where you're going to mount and where you're going and what how long is your length and where you're getting power from then that's all you need to know